Unlike the vast majority of National Weather Service warning products, red flag warnings do not explicitly state the type of hazardous weather being warned for in the name. So when a red flag warning has been issued, what does it mean? To put it simply, red flag warnings are issued to warn the fire community about weather conditions that could lead to the rapid growth and spread of new or existing fires with the ultimate goal of protecting the life and property of all those living and working in harm's way. These conditions include, but are not limited to, gusty winds with low humidity, which can spread fire quickly, abundant lightning on dry vegetation, which can lead to an overwhelming number of new fires, and very dry and unstable conditions, which can lead to extreme fire behavior. When these conditions are expected or are occurring, the Weather Service will issue a red flag warning, alerting the various local, state, and federal fire and land management agencies of these hazardous conditions so that they can make the best possible decisions to prepare and respond effectively to the threat. Traditionally, the focus of the red flag warning has been towards these members of the fire community, but with the increased vulnerability and threat of wildfires to the civilian population, red flag warnings are, are taking on more of a public spotlight as well. You, like local officials and fire departments, can prepare and make decisions that can help your community be safer during these hazardous weather days. When a red flag warning is issued, remember this phrase, one less spark, one less wildfire. When the danger of fire is high, don't light campfires or other burns that could blow over and go out of control. Put off mowing or use of any other power equipment that can throw a spark. Limit or put off outdoor grilling for a better day. And make sure your vehicle or trailer isn't dragging chains or any other items that can trigger roadside fires. Every fire, big or small, needs an ignition point to begin. And by eliminating these points, fires can be stopped before they even start. It's also important to be prepared. Be lawful. Know your local fire regulations and restrictions and follow the instructions issued by local officials in emergency management. Be vigilant. Keep up to date on the latest weather forecast news and alerts through radio TV or other trusted outlets. And if you see a fire or activity that could spark a new fire, quickly report it to fire officials. And of course, be prepared. Have an emergency plan and make sure everyone in your household knows and understands what to do if you need to quickly evacuate. Have your emergency supplies, vehicle, and even pets ready to go. And don't forget to keep your phone charged. By following these simple points, you can be ready for or even prevent the next disaster. If you want to know more, additional information on wildfire safety and preparedness can be found at the websites listed below, or you can inquire with your local, state, and federal fire agencies. Thanks for watching and for helping us become a more weather-ready nation.